How many of you had thought about the appearance of aliens? A huge, green man with a prominent black eye and no nose. Well, your perspective is going to change. According to scientists, there is a location outside of Earth in our solar system that may have the chemical composition to support life, which suggests that aliens might be similar to these tiny worms or microorganisms. So let's find out more about this new place. Enceladus is Saturn's sixth most giant moon. Its diameter is 500 kilometers, or about a tenth of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Enceladus is primarily covered in new, spotless ice, making it one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. Going back to October 15, 1997 Cassini-Huygens, also known as Cassini, was launched by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency to explore Saturn and its system including its rings and natural satellites. Cassini revealed the dramatic truth, Enceladus is an active moon that hides a global ocean of liquid salty water beneath its crust. What's more, jets of icy particles from that ocean, laced with a brew of water and simple organic chemicals, gush out into space continuously from this fascinating ocean world. The material shoots out at about 800 miles per hour and forms a plume that extends hundreds of miles into space. Some of the material falls back onto Enceladus, and some escape to form Saturn's vast E-ring. The E-ring is mostly made of ice droplets, but among them are peculiar nanoparticles. Cassini detected these passing silica nanograins, which can only be generated where liquid water and rock interact at temperatures above 90 degrees Celsius. This points to hydrothermal vents deep beneath Enceladus' icy shell, not unlike the hydrothermal vents that, the ocean floor here on Earth. From 2004 to 2017, Cassini's mission at the gas giant included many flights over the plume and E-ring. The ingredients for amino acids, as well as other chemical substances linked to life as we know it, have been discovered in the ice grains of Enceladus. Phosphorus was one of the substances found on Enceladus it is the least abundant of the essential elements necessary for biological processes and hadn't been detected until now. The element is a building block for DNA, which forms chromosomes and carries genetic information and is present in the bones of mammals, cell membranes, and ocean-dwelling plankton. Phosphorus is also a fundamental part of energy-carrying molecules present in all life on Earth. Life wouldn't be possible without it. Cassini's mission came to an end in 2017, with the spacecraft burning up in Saturn's atmosphere, but the trove of data it collected will continue to be a rich resource for decades to come. When it was launched, Cassini's mission was to explore Saturn, its rings, and moons. The flagship mission's array of instruments ended up making discoveries that continue to impact far more than planetary science. Since so many components for life exist in nature, the issue is now, is there life elsewhere in the universe, perhaps even within our solar system? I believe Cassini's enduring impact will inspire other missions that may ultimately provide a solution to that issue. It is exciting to think about possibilities. What do you think if Enceladus has organic life beneath its subsurface? Comment down your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe as we explore the wonders of the universe.